too. So. Okay. Uh, now we're good, I believe. Uh, we just had a volume problem. Uh, and you missed a really great intro. Uh, probably never happen again. Folks, this is our uh, tri-generational game. You know the spiel. Uh, follow us on, all, on everything. It doesn't matter. Uh, these guys are going to have a great time. Uh, let's introduce you to them and uh, see what they have to say. We will start with... Uh, the oldest, I you know, there's no easy way of saying that. The eldest, the eldest player. Just say old man. Old man, you're up. Who are you and who are you playing? I am Frank Sr. and I'm playing Leaf, the wayward druid, the only sane person in this party. Oh my gosh. You know, they these guys love their sanity for some reason and I'm not sure why because none of them are sane anymore. Uh, next to you is the youngest member of the crew. Uh, speak up there, Man Fang. Who are you and who are you playing? Hi, I am Man Fang, a dragonborn fighter with 18 intelligence and a PhD in absolutely everything. <laughs> You know, clearly, it's, like golf. it's like golf. The lower the score, the better you do. Clearly the uh, least sane member of the party. Next up is Jason, uh, commander of the crew in his own mind. Jason, you're up. Uh, yes, I'm playing Captain Copious V. Bitters III, uh, a gnomish witch with uh, maybe delusions of grandeur, or perhaps it's uh, this small, small ego issues. But a fearless leader of this captain crew, uh, it's a short voyage, no more than six hours, um, should be good. I, I'm glad that you are keeping a positive frame of mind. Uh, <laughs> finally, on to our last sane player of the party, in his words. Uh, AJ, who are you? Who are you playing? There, I'm AJ, and I'm playing Felix, the last sane party member, slash the best navigator that Captain Copious could ask for. Yeah, you know, I, I am uh, not going to disagree with you. You did manage to get them here. I got us uh, right where we are. Exactly. Uh, you know, you looked and there you were. Folks, uh, last time these guys played, they managed to take over a turtle war vessel. And despite having issues in steering and navigation, uh, they have uh, honed their skills uh, to the point where they are now at least minimally functioning. Uh, there was a slight, uh, shall we say, map issue uh, where they were going to go this way and they ended up going this way, but that's okay. Uh, they have arrived on land. They are running low on supplies. They went into a place called Dimbo Point on the Tortle homeland. Uh, after much discussion, uh, a, an away team decided to head in and see if they could negotiate for supplies. Fortunately, uh, Robert of Zeppelin, uh, using his keen diplomatic skills, has offered the party services uh, in exchange for food and fresh water. Uh, Captain Copius was manning the ship and he met with uh, Nomi, uh, a turtle orphan uh, who can speak common. On land, Taggart, uh, the elder turtle, is handling negotiations and sent Nomi out to the boat. Uh, despite her uh, exquisite charisma, uh, the only person on that boat she found moderately attractive was the hated enemy, uh, Tabaxi Stowaway. Uh, much to the chagrin of the two gnomes and Captain Copius, who uh, offered her a complete uh, rundown of his cabin for some reason. We aren't really sure, <laughs> but, you know, that happens. Uh, Captain Copius has decided uh, he should give his final blessing on the negotiations. He, Man Fang, who is still wearing the turtle shell, and uh, Phineas... Uh, Latrec, fearless gnome, uh, are all venturing towards the shoreline where Felix, Leif, Robert of Zeppelin are enjoying a feast of the ages as the welcoming uh, villagers are happy that their problems with the Kroken slash Tabaxi pirates are going to come to an end. Uh, we rejoin them as uh, Copious and Manfang 
uh, along with Phineas Latrec, arrive on the shore. Uh, gentlemen, uh, not a whole lot of activity on the shore, according to Nomi, who has now resurfaced and is walking towards the shoreline. Uh, everything is in another location. Uh, she asks if you would like to proceed that way. Uh, yes, uh, motion for her to lead the way. Uh, she does so. She drags you through the city at a slow pace, uh, showing you the uh, beautiful uh, scenery, uh, the substandard in your mind uh, lodgings. Uh, but as you reach over, do, 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 uh, you go up through this line, you cross over the river, and you come to a large building known as the Community Center. Uh, you can hear uh, jubilant uh, voices uh, and a hearty laugh that you recognize as Robert of Zeppelin inside. Would you like to enter? Okay. Yeah, uh, and I'll ask as we're, we're entering if you'll take us to the elder that she in, mentioned on the ship. Uh, as you walk in, Robert of Zeppelin finishes a rousing, humorous anecdote, uh, and the tortles, most of whom do not understand the large man, uh, laugh in amusement because uh, the tortle elder, Taggart, uh, is laughing at the story, so they do not want to be rude. At the head table is Felix, Leif, and Robert of Zeppelin, along with an older turtle uh, whom Nomi has told you is Taggart. As you guys enter, uh, there is a moment of silence at the intruders, uh, and Robert of Zeppelin stands up and announces the other members of his crew have finally arrived. <laughs> He points out uh, Man Fang, uh, a trusted warrior and an explicit diplomat, and uh, two gnomes. <laughs> uh, Copius will stride forward uh, in, in his most regal uh, performance ever and doffed his hat to the, the elder uh, Tortle and introduced himself, casting uh, Fade Presence as he approaches. Oh, very nice. Uh, do I get a save or do you have to roll? DC 15. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe if I would have organized my dice. Uh, 15 on the head. Uh, but you know what? He, uh, he greets you warmly and he, he looks. My apologies. I have never seen um, 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 Captain. Captain? Uh, <laughs> certainly. Uh, we welcome you. Uh, may I ask a question of you? Yeah, Copius is still, he's laying on the, the charm here. All right. Uh, he, he motions for you to come close to him so that the others cannot hear him. Um, where did you pick up that ugly turtle? <laughs> I, would, I would tell him we found him abandoned as a child in the Nizumi ruins, raised ah. him since birth. Ah, that uh, that would explain it. He was horribly uh, scarred in a in a in a, 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 a an issue with a, a worm, a dragon worm. Clearly, uh, some of that uh, damage must have worn off on him. Uh, he turns to Felix and Leaf. Uh, I was unaware that you had one of our kindred brethren in your group. Uh, this calls for a bigger celebration. More wine. Uh, Manfang, the elder turtle, looks at you and goes, are you okay in turtle? You don't know what he's saying. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, nope. but what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I am, I am Man Fang. Did you know? <laughs> I speak 
He had, oh, to, he had to look on the paper see what the hell his name was. <laughs> wow. Odd Leaf, even Felix. Odd Leaf, uh, the turtle elder turns to you and goes, Did he suffer damage? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, you all look to be capable uh, warriors, uh, as he kind of stares at Phineas Latrec who is helping himself to food off people's table. Uh, he must well, like help. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the celebration continues. More food, more wine are brought to you guys. You guys are given seats at the head table, although it's a little bit cramped because uh, your three associates have uh, taken a wide berth, especially Robert of Zeppelin, who wishes to go ahead and remain center mass of the table. Uh, you are quick. Well, you know what? I'll ask Felix and Leaf. Do you go ahead and uh, inform them of the mission goals and what the rewards are going to be? Yes. Absolutely. So, Copius, you were told that uh, they've, they've got this small, tiny, minor, croaken, raider, pirate, tabaxi problem that you guys are going to go ahead and step in for them uh in return you will be given food and fresh water to continue your journeys wherever they may take you uh you are being told that you have probably a couple of days before they arrive uh and you are free to make yourselves at home here in dimbo point the armpit of the turtle universe Does the uh, elder, or has he shared how many raiders have been there in the past, approximately? He has not shared that information, I don't believe. Well, I will ask him if, if he has any knowledge of how many raiders to expect. Four. Four, four, come on, four raiders come on a regular basis. Uh, their ship, they travel through the jungle, usually uh, from the, uh, it would be east. Um, <laughs> and uh, their whereabouts of their ship are unknown. They are staunch fighters and very uh, cat-like reflexes are in their repertoire. Uh, are they turtles? They are tabaxi. Are the tabaxi raiders. Yeah. And can he, if they're coming through the jungle, can, do they follow the same path every time? Uh, D12 against me. Six. Five. Uh, he believes so. Uh, every once in a while, uh, the first time they came in, uh, they actually parked their ship in the bay. It's called the Heartworm. The ship is called the Heartworm? Mm -hmm. And it is, uh, for that. it is ruled by a fierce female tabaxi. All right, so Felix, you have to stay on land. Uh, so... If he can show us where, I'm going to talk with Leaf and Felix and Manfang, who I assume is just eating, but just to see whether or not we think we can set up uh, some traps or uh, a, a funnel of some kind so that when they come into the village, we have a uh, surprise on our hands and maybe can inflict a little damage before they get too far into the village. And we also may need to move our ship so it's not visible to theirs as they're arriving. Uh, you hear a loud crunching just off your ear. Uh, a look, is it Manfang? It's Phineas. <laughs> <laughs> he appears to be eating the plate. Uh -huh. He points out that these are good chips. Uh, much to the chagrin of Taggart, the village elder, who is not close enough to hear your uh, plans, but can clearly see a little dry. That's a, that's a good plan, though. I like that plan. Do we notice that Taggart's upset by Phine uh, Phineas's behavior? He's not really upset. He's more puzzled at the uniqueness of having two gnomes uh, together. He, uh, Taggart, has lived a long life, but he has never had the pleasure of dealing with gnomes. 
Hmm. So he finds you an oddity. I'm going to ask Taggart if he has um, any of the village who would be available to assist us in preparing for uh, to repel the invaders. Uh, I would offer the services of my young charge, Nomi. She can speak common as well as her native language, and she is quite intelligent uh, given her uh, young, youthful appearance at age 70. So uh, I was ask if we can get a couple of uh, folks that are willing to dig some pits for us and maybe some folks to help us cover those and maybe a couple rowers for the ship to move it out of the bay without having to raise sail. You, you watch a lot of movies. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, Copius and, is well-educated. Uh, that's uh, why he's captain. That, that's true. They have uh, two strong rowers and six good diggers, a mix of male and female. Uh, the two rowers can head on out to the ship. Uh, they will point out that... Uh, little bit concerned about getting attacked by the rest of your crew whom we assume uh, is is vast in numbers uh, we're going to reassure them that they, they they should be in bed and they just have to talk to the the, the watch uh captain when they arrive on ship it should be haggis crap stain should be <laughs> <laughs> you know what let's Maybe just get See if Phineas will go back out with him with some food. Uh, well, D12 for me for the watch, and then we'll D12 for Phineas. 10 on the watch. And for Phineas? 11. Uh, Phineas will go. He, uh, he doesn't like these people. They smell. <laughs> and their chips are a little bit too firm for his liking. Uh, he will gladly return with uh, Pierre or join rejoin Pierre Haggis and uh, of course the tabaxi stowaway. So he can explain that uh, they'll assist in rowing the ship. Uh, now um, they will not be able to speak common. So uh, what do you want Nomi to tell them? Uh, uh, tell have Nomi tell them that when they get on ship that the person who meets them will tell them where to sit and when to start pulling the oars. Uh, Felix, Leaf, give me D20s. This will be for the ability for the two turtles, please. <laughs> Stellar rolls, gentlemen. Uh, okay, uh, Copious, uh, the... Uh, Mo and Larry head on out to your ship, and uh, they will take uh, Phineas Latrec on their belly uh, as they move out. Uh, they will arrive. Phineas will give the watch commander, August Grabstain, uh, the information, and it will be up to him to pilot it out. Uh, while you guys are clearly too far away from shore, uh, what would you like to do now? Is there an expectation the Raiders could come at any point tomorrow, the next day? Uh, most likely two days, maybe tomorrow. Uh, it's getting close. Is it is it uh, late in the evening at this point? I, I don't remember. Yes. That. Yeah. It will be evening. The festival will be the uh, nighttime or the so dinner meal. If we can see with, uh, I can see in the, the dark, but if Nomi can see, if she can show us where they had the raiders have come up to the village in the past that would be helpful certainly uh she will go ahead and lead you herself to uh the edge of the area and let's see here let's use annotates and stamps we're going to use x marks the spot you guys are here uh she is going to lead you over to this area right here on the map she said usually they come in this way uh, and leave through the jungle, trying not to get eaten by the saber toothed tigers that are frequented in the area. These will be uh, forested areas. 
And this is the shrine under construction. So the, the mass of X's is where they come in and, and go out? That's their path. Let's go look okay. at the shrine. We'll yeah. have some money in there. Uh, the shrine is essentially cinder blocks. It's not even remotely close. Now, it, are you going to follow her to the path? Yes. Right there, an elderly turtle female dressed in, I'll say, religious uh, iconography uh, watches you intently. Is she watching all of us or is she watching Manfang walk by? The uh, funniest, largest turtle she's ever seen. She she is watching. <laughs> uh, she is watching everybody. I'll ask Nomi uh, who who's the, the lady watching us pass by. Oh, that is our shaman. Mm, Her name uh, is Gatos Bane. Gatos Bane or Spain? Bane. Gatos Bane. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll ask Nomi to walk us over to her. The old woman looks at you and holds a small turtle shell rattle in her hand, shaking it to ward off the evil spirits. Uh, you can tell even for a turtle, she looks ancient. She's probably been on this planet 700 years, give or take. <laughs> Uh, so Copius will ask uh, Nomi to translate if she doesn't speak common. And it I'll just not. wish her a good evening. Namaste, elderly. Uh, give me a persuasion check. At disadvantage because you're wearing your ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn. Oh, I did not forget. <laughs> uh, oh, I was hoping, you know, uh, who knows? Uh, at disadvantage, 15. Uh, you can tell from the head nod that it, your uh, greeting is warmly received. She shakes her turtle rattle one more time. Everybody who has magic items notices that they are glowing. And Copious, you notice that one of your rings is glowing red. <laughs> Look at that. I'm Rudolph. She says something to Nomi. Uh, who causes a slight laugh, uh, and she says, uh, Gato's Bane feels that you are more than up to the task of handling a few cowardly buccaneers. Oh, and that's what made her laugh? I'm <laughs> I think, uh, go ahead and give me an insight check, everybody. Eight. 17. Yeah. 14 or 20. That's a 14. 17. Uh, Leaf and Manfang, you realize that uh, this is probably not what she said. Uh, but I mean, the translation was respectful, so. At least Nomi knows how not to piss you guys off. <laughs> so if, if I notice this ring on my finger is glowing red, I, I'm going to ask Nomi, I said, uh, do you, can, your shaman clearly knows a little magic. Uh, can she make this not be red? Can she take this uh, curse off of this ring, apparently? Or give me some insight into what the, why it's red? <laughs> Gato's Bane uh, responds, uh, Nomi takes a step back away from you and points out the glow of the red indicates that it is a cursed item. Uh, our shaman said she can assist you in removing it, but it's a very unusual process. I'll ask for the, could you define unusual? Uh, Nomi spells it out. 
and, and just a plethora of words are expelled from Gatos Bay, and almost twice as many as she's already said so far. A lot of animated hand motions and a look of what you would consider total shock crosses Nomi's face. Uh, and she looks up trying to find the words to describe it and says Home sex. you uh, don't mind being shaved do you? Oh, I told you I told you <laughs> bitch you still got that silver dagger I bet you can get that ring off that finger <laughs> yeah Yes, I do. Is, is the shaving the worst part? <laughs> there, she asks, there may be a small amount of pain. That's a blue one. Yeah, and a knife. Is it more pain than having uh, a, a vampiric curse removed in a temple? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> um, she is not certain what that entailed. <laughs> Will I be in fighting form after the pain? How long is the recovery? Most assuredly. Most assuredly. She she would not even suggest it uh, if that would put a damper on your efforts to deal with the Krogans. Uh, it, it will take a few hours, though. And best uh, to start early because <sighs> Gato's Bay <Bank> gets tired. Fuck. <laughs> Did she have dinner at like three in the afternoon too? Yeah, it was a blue plate special too. <laughs> you can tell the the scant wisps of hair on uh, Gato's bane are uh, silverish blue. <laughs> All right. Uh, and she does this a lot. Twenty. Boy, I'm not feeling good about this one. I'm gonna end up looking like a damn turtle here before this is over. Um, you can always borrow man fang shell. What kind of fangs would a turtle vampire have? Just the beak. Yeah, big old beak. A single, single hole. I am um, sure it'll tingle something. <laughs> oh, God. Copious Volbitters the third, Captain and Eunuch, all in the same evening. Um, so here, here's the dilemma. So obviously I'm I'm cursed and I don't know what I'm cursed with. So it has Copius a little on edge, thinking he may be cursed, um, especially before battle. But I want to go see where this path is, and I'll I'll need Nomi to translate whatever instructions I'm getting from God of Spain here. So will she will she be be able to stay up long enough for us to run down and see the path before this process begins? No, she All suggests right. we begin immediately on your transformation. Uh, I can then take Leaf, Man, Fang, there and was, Felix. I heard transformation in that <laughs> last sentence. What transformation are we talking about? Into the holiness realm. Could we get a little more specific here? You know, cut off your ding dong, bub. Uncursed. Uncursed. But I will still be a gnome, right? <laughs> oh yes, yes. There is and no was, lengthening process. You'll you'll be a not height, body. I'm not going to be a turtle when this is over, right? No, you will not be a turtle. And I'll a... still be a witch, right? I suppose uh, so. Oh Lord, have mercy. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, do you, uh, Leaf, Man, Fang, and Felix. Uh, Nomi says, wait right here. She leads Copius into the old temple, uh, soon to be replaced by the new shrine. Uh, and there is a tortle altar there made out of old logs recovered from uh, the bay. It's very uh, tribal. Uh, there's a lot of small skulls, some dead amphibians hanging from the ceiling. Uh, Copius, Nomi says, you need to lay on the altar. And the altar, of course, is swooped down for a turtle's back. Uh, so it's not going to be very comfortable. Uh, but she insists that whatever happens, 
<laughs> you do not scream, and you do not, do not, do not flinch. Because you'll still be a gnome if you flinch. You will just be a girl gnome. A female gnome. <laughs> knew this was going here. Uh, baby. Leaf, I hope you're building up to a restoration spell because I'll need something restored by the time this is over. Well, you are a gnome, so minor restoration probably cover that little bit. I would think so, too. So, uh, Nomi says, you do understand, sir, right? Can she tell me what the curse actually does before I agree to this? D12 against me. Oh, 12. <laughs> nope. Uh, so, yeah, he, he's totally paranoid. He's, he doesn't want to go into uh, combat with whatever, thinking he's cursed. So I, I think there is a, a, a bright spot that you're missing here. Because it is a concave surface, all the urine and or blood will pool. So you, you won't defile the temple. It'll, it'll just pool into it. You'll be like a Mercury 7 astronaut. You'll just have to pee in your suit. <laughs> uh, trust me, I've been, that Kofi started peeing the minute he realized what was about to happen. This is not <laughs> an issue. Uh, Leaf, Manfang, and Felix. Nomi comes out, shaking her head. Uh, gentlemen, if you'll follow me, I'll show you the path that they take. Okay. You guys weave around through the jungle, a few garden patches there. Uh, it starts to increase in dimension, a little bit like uh, your adventures in Sof, not mountainous at this point in time, but you can see the mountains in the background, but it's hilly terrain. Uh, she takes you up to the top. It is not easy because it's not paved. Everybody give me a D20, please. Hoga boga, hoga boga, hoga boga, hoga. <laughs> Do I have a piece of leather to bite down on? I just want to yes. know. Yes, okay. <laughs> it's Three. a stick. Do you have a modifier on that or no? I'll give you dex or acrobatics. Oh, nice. 24. Eight. I wrote a net 20. Nice. Uh, 12. Mm -hmm. uh felix takes the quick way down uh he's apparently spring breaking it in uh dimbo point uh, and he is now covered in mud uh however felix this will tell you that uh navigating this incline is not going to be easy for anybody uh except for your two associates <laughs> but this could be a good spot to lay a trap uh felix if you want to try again to get up with your associates go ahead and re-roll please uh with the modifier it's 15. okay you make it up uh you have mud from the tip of your nose to the tips of your boots because you slid face down fortunately no roots or vines or rocks impeded your quick flow. Uh, up at the top, uh, you can tell it's a winding trail through the jungle. It's, it's trail in name only. Uh, it's not well-worn because they only come by about once a month. Uh, and it delves into a jungle with a lot of unusual bird noises and a lot of flying insecta. It's going to be like the one scene from Willy Wonka. It's got, someone's got to chop it with a machete and then lick it. Mm -hmm. I think we should set up a trap somehow Ball right here. I don't know what kind of trap. This is where our I think uh, maybe we can captain hide off the trail and wait until they, they get down to the, the mudslide and hit them when they start down. Just nope. for shits and giggles, Copius, why don't you give me a, just a straight up D20? Let's see how you're. Uh... If you got all your appendages, but. <laughs> <laughs> a loud shriek is heard coming from Dimbo Point that sounds vaguely gnomish in nature. And a little girlish high? Not yet. <laughs> he was furthermore known as Co Copius of Copietta. <laughs> Copietta, bull bitters. He rolls a one, it'll be Copietta. 
It'll be <laughs> definitely. Uh, oh, well, with the screaming uh, going on, it's not that bad. Uh, good news, Copious. You screamed when you saw the knife being used the, to shave you uh, as she tested <laughs> it on her jowls. <laughs> it's very it's sharp, very angry looking. It's cold. It's also very cold. Uh, you aren't going to feel cold yet. <laughs> uh, so uh, where exactly do you want to set this trap? I think we need to set it right here in the jungle. We look for that. Yeah, I think right here in the jungle. So going down this mudslide, I wonder if we could put like a punji pit at the bottom or something. Yikes. Somebody's like been watching oh. Vietnam movies. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, maybe a, yeah, maybe not so crazy. We've got a couple of able body uh, diggers. We do, I thought. Yes, you do. You have yeah, so six, I, I believe. I know, we, we can go out and that, start steaks and sharpen them the only problem is that'll probably only take care of the first one because after the first one sees it the others won't so we'll have to ambush them right there that's all right copious. Uh, copious felix how about you give me a constitution check please oh shit. you're gonna die Woo-hoo. 21 Jungle, baby. he there seems I- fine yeah. seems I'm the last same party member <laughs> that's not fine. And that affliction so that's fine. When we hear the first one scream when they hit the pit, we jump out and attack the rest of them that are going down the hill and drive them into it. Ooh, that's a good idea. Just to win, we'll just blow them into the damn hole. That works. And yeah, probably not. <laughs> no, probably not. That's not going to work. It's going to blow us into the hole. All right, let's do it. So we'll start. We'll start cutting stakes and sharpening and get them digging us a pit down at the bottom. I, I, I like that idea. We'll have to cut some fronds or something to put across the top of it and try to disguise it. What is this, just mud down at the bottom, too? Uh, yeah, for a short landing, courtesy of Felix. Okay. His chin. Yeah, we'll just we'll cut some fronds and put them down at the bottom, throw a little mud on those to kind of disguise them a little bit. Uh, all three of you give me an insight check, please. Um, roll move. 23. 16. 4. 4. Man Fang. No, 5. Sorry. Oh, five. 5. I'm sorry. Uh, Man Fang doesn't notice this, but Leaf and Felix, you notice that one of your diggers, uh, not really pulling his weight, and he seems to be doing a lot of chatting with the others uh, and discussing something in hushed tones. Whip him and yell, get back to and work. Nomi, Nomi's still with us, correct? Mm-hmm. Nomi, Nomi, we're not going to be able to save your village if you don't get that one working. That is the uh, owner of the pub, and he uh, he's friends with the tabaxi because they pay him for his services. Oh. Is that right? His name is Egg. Egg? E.G. Egg. Then why do we have him here with us? He volunteered. He's, uh, he's here for the sacrifice. Yeah, he volunteered all right. I think he's here to warn him. Um, uh, I think we should just whip you him. You take him back with him. you and leave him there and tell your village head to keep him under watch. We don't need him warning them that we're setting a trap for him and send somebody else out here to help us dig. Right now? Right now. Uh, sounds like a lot. As Man. you wish. Uh, copious, time for your second roll. I don't wanna. <laughs> 17. It, it's getting easier. I'm, I'm going to, I'm promising everything I have to uh, Bane here. <laughs> uh, I think I have, I have donation for the new shrine on the ship. Just make me whole. Keep me soul. Make a hole in you? No! no, no. <laughs> That's what Gatto's heard, because remember, she doesn't speak common. 
hole, hole holds up a great big knife. <laughs> and the equivalent of an ice pick, she's going to jab it. No, Pretty no. much. Hey, she's customer service oriented here. <clears throat> uh, she ignores you uh, and continues with the ritual body shaving. You are not going to have a speck of hair left on you once she gets done. I, I just have to throw this image. I keep thinking of the scene in the original Conan with Arnold Schwarzenegger, who is dead, tied outside the hut, wrapped in him. That's what I'm picturing. Yep, uh, but you're going to have a different image here in just a few minutes. Uh, Nomi takes Egg off uh, about a half hour later. I'll help Dig while he's gone. Felix, you keep cutting the steaks. Four more uh, turtles show up. Uh, three with shovels. Yeah. Okay. Three with shovels, one with a machete. All right, I'll take the one with a machete with me and get the other ones digging. So here's the other thing, though. We got we got to make a funnel so that they go into the pit and they can't run away from the pit. Right? Because after the first one falls in, they're going to see that and not want to go down the path anymore. Oh, we got. We can't make it obvious. But though. if we attack them, if we're hiding in the jungle on either side of the path and attack them when they start down that, that's what I'm saying. And drive them in the pit. But I don't know how you're gonna. Okay, we can't. They won't go into the pit. What if we lay or put other spikes or something in the jungle so that when they scatter, if they scatter, yeah, we gotta lay traps in the jungle elsewhere. Maybe a tripwire. One really big hole, and that's it. And you told Nomi to stay in with Taggart, correct? Or did you want her to return? I didn't say that, but that's that's fine. We got the help we needed. I told her to tell Taggart to keep dumbass, or excuse me, <laughs> the bar owner in there. Uh, Felix, give me a percentage roll, please. Percentage. <laughs> 53. Uh, you get about half the job done before clearly uh, these guys are these guys are spent. They are very tired. They're going to need to rest. Uh, they mumble something to you unintelligibly. Uh, your dumbfounded look gets them to talk to the uh, other turtle in your group. Uh, clearly, Man Fang, you have no idea what they're saying, but they all appear to be. What well, you know? What insight check me, uh, Man Fang? Let's all see right, if the guys are just tired. Go <sighs> right, do it. You know, it don't matter which one of my dice I give to him. <laughs> That's seven. Man yeah. Fang decides that the whippings will begin until the morale improves. Third and final D20, Copious. That's what I said at the beginning. Whip them. Everybody listens to the man in the turtle shell. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, you are concerned now that you are completely hairless uh, and the concave cradle that you are sitting in is now home to a lot of hot steamy water and your gatos bane is peeling potatoes and carrots into the sauce <laughs> around you uh the ring is still glowing a hearty red uh and she takes your hand and places it down over your crotch uh with the glowing ring and continues to put a variety of vegetables and special herbs and spices into this concoction. She's got to dump your lower half. I bet the water. water heats up that little no mask going to be glowing red too. You notice that it, your butt is warm because she is tending a fire underneath the altar, which warms the baptismal font that you are currently sitting in. And the pee and blood. You know what? Give me a straight up D20 to see if it's getting uncomfortable or you can still handle it. 11, straight D20. 11 is right in your wheelhouse. So it's warm. It's not cut, not quite 
Solna-ish, uh, but it's warm and you can go ahead and handle it with a little bit of squirming. Uh, every time you squirm though, she stops flicking off vegetables and taps you on the nose with a knife <laughs> and urges you not to move around. There you uh, fart in the water. <laughs> after uh, it looks like you are turtle soup, uh, she begins to chant with her tiny little tortle shell rattle. Uh, Leaf and Felix, you guys are smarter than man fang and realize uh, these guys are exhausted. They need to get some sleep. Uh, and they wish to call it a night. Well, the best way to get sleep yeah. is more whipping. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, we might as we got deep enough hole that we can put spikes into it yet or not. You're about 53% of the way. You want to get to about 75 to do the the hole. Well, let's call it a night and come back first thing in the morning. Let's go check as, on Copious. I was going to say, as you walk past the shrine, uh, you hear the ooga booga uh, sounds and the rattle. Every once in a while, it is a high, shrill shout not coming from your gnomish friend. You also smell somebody is making some soup. Maybe some pork soup. Because <laughs> there is certainly a lot of fat back in this soup. <laughs> uh, did you want to interrupt the uh, ceremony? No. No. I'm heading on back. Enjoy. Okay. The community center is the local gathering spot. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin is uh, handling all of the uh, the uh, information on what you guys need. So that's why he couldn't get his hands dirty with the work. Man Fang stopped into the temple. I want to try and spook copious, see if he flinches. Okay, fair enough. Uh, give me a charisma check. Oh, uh, yay. I have no charisma. You, got, you don't have a minus on it. But I do have a fumble on it. Wait a minute, what'd you roll? Is that your 20? That's, yeah, that's a 20 and that's Jeez. a one. I started thinking it was a die four. As you walk in, you are struck blind <laughs> at what you see. Uh, the egg-shaped little head of a gnome devoid of any facial hair anywhere. Uh, looks up at you, and the sheer shock of his nude self swimming in some kind of soup and some kind of weird macabre ceremony has given you blindness for one hour. <laughs> God, I didn't want to have to look at it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fall on the ground like a Velma, just trying to find my way out the door. Well, she, she's on a raised platform, so give me a dex check or fall down a flight of stairs. Let's see if you can roll another one. What's my dexterity? Plus, Plus two. two. Fourteen. <laughs> you managed to go down screaming, "I'm blind! I'm blind!" Leaf and Felix. Shake their heads in disdain, and are you guys going to lead him to the sleeping arrangements, or do you want to dump him in the water? Yeah, we'll we'll lead him over. Okay. Uh, you guys get there. Robert of Zeppelin assures you that through sheer diplomatic genius and the abilities of a true leader, he has gone ahead and gotten a rather lucrative contract with these people uh, for your services that will be rendered. Uh, where's Copious? He's uh, getting a little curse removed that he found from an old shaman woman. Mm. Well, I hope she takes both of them. Uh, the w Did you guys want to set up lookouts for the night or just trust that the turtles are going to be okay. Taggart also apologizes for Egg's conduct and says that he has discussed it with him and uh, it will not happen again. Lookouts would probably be a good idea. I think we should <sighs> look out. Otherwise, yeah. Now keep in mind the two rowers 
uh, have not returned. They have been temporarily reassigned. That does take two fighters out of your group. Uh, and you do not know failure or success on uh, Captain Haggis as uh, removal of the boat from the bay. Uh, I'll, I'll take first watch. Huh? Uh, I'll, take, I'll take second. Manfang or you or Robert going to take third? Robert can. I want to clear my blindness. Your blindness goes away after one hour. I know, but the image is still in my head. Oh, yes. It will be there forever. He just wants to sleep and have some pleasant dreams about what he saw. I want to sleep and have at least a the, the rounded, hairless nature. Does it look like it? Does it look like one of those hairless mole rats? Is that what he looked like? Kind of. But uh, instead of a head being at one end, no. It's the same features, both sides. It's it's very disturbing. It's like a hairless cat without a skull on it. Yeah. Oh, my beauty, baby. Alien. Good in look. Uh, in the morning. Uh, tattoo on his cheek. Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> uh, copious D12 against me, please. Eight. Very good. Uh, you awake refreshed, although quite pruny the next morning. Uh, there's a little bit of a chill in the air as the wind whips through uh, the old crone's personal residence. Uh, but she wakes up, shakes her rattle, and removes the now dimmed red r glowing ring from your finger. Uh, Get dressed? What is she? What's <clears throat> get out i'll start walking out i'll tell her thank you uh and are, is she keeping the ring i just mm -hmm. oh i see how this game's played now <laughs> a little fake red glow uh, <laughs> yeah, a little fake red glow and you took my damn ring are you gonna put your clothes on or just wander through naked i'm walking out naked i'm hairless monkey right now i'm just walking Grab out clothes with you dummy i don't think turtle pants are gonna fit you I have my clothes with me. I stripped in front of the old lady. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> uh, hey, it's a delivery man's here. As uh, as the villagers awake, refreshed from a new morning, they all What the hell is that? Uh, nobody comes to check on walking you. Walking through town thinking I should have got some lotion or something from that uh, shaman before I started out. You're pruny like a, a sphinx cat. <laughs> uh, because you've been sitting in a soup all night long. I'm hypoallergenic. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, Nomi stops by to check on you and immediately averts her gaze uh, and asks if you are okay now. He said, I, I, am, I am scarred. I'm psychically scarred. My psyche has been damaged. I am without my, my beard and my mustache. I, I, I share your pain, uh, sir. Perhaps you would like to uh, apply your uh, apparel, I think is the right word. I, 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 isn't this a tropical wonderland? Uh, yes. There's no signs for a nude beach somewhere around here. Uh, give me a perception check, please. It's going to be a new beach full of old people. And uh, you hear the cry of a la large raptor, like a big vulture or a giant golden eagle. I'll, I'll look up and ask her if she heard, heard the same cry. Uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You, uh, uh, it, it's breakfast and everybody is hungry. Everybody. <laughs> I, I guess I'll duck under a tree and say, do these things normally attack your villagers? No. <laughs> Does it, is it, is it the bald head? Is it the bald head? 
it's the it's the, the worm. It's the oh, worm. <laughs> it's, the, it's the it's the the Franken beans. <laughs> <laughs> said i i'll get dressed but i'm protesting i said i i need some <laughs> lotion or something i have just been shaved from head to foot this is some serious chafing is going to happen inside these pants yeah, we'll wait. see if we can find you some talc <laughs> that would be great uh you rejoin your compatriots uh robert of zeppelin will laugh uh, deep belly laughs. He will find your appearance to be exceptionally amusing and ask you if you know where your mommy is, little girl. <laughs> I want that cursed ring back because I know the hand that's going on next. <clears throat> you, may, you may ask Nomi to see if she can recover it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Felix, Leaf, and Manfang can go ahead and update everybody on the progress. Robert will cut them off frequently, pointing out that through unbelievable diplomatic abilities, uh, we will be able to go anywhere on this planet with what they're going to give to us uh, just for simply being the heroes that uh, we are from my true leadership. Uh, so you are welcome. Thank you. <laughs> exactly are we dealing with here? Why are they so willing to give us so many supplies just for dealing with a couple of little tabaxi? Because we're gonna die as well. It's not a couple of little tabaxi, it's a war party. More than likely. Let's see how these turtles gather up to take back with us to finish digging out these trenches. You can't call them. Egg will approach, and through the translations of Nomi, will point out that he is very sorry for his actions. He would like to go ahead and assist. He feels awful that uh, his lack of activity was misconstrued as laziness. Who and, said that? Uh, egg. egg. And he will offer you a free beverage. No, thank you. In a small uh, cask. I want to repeat to the head of the village once again, keep him under your thumb until this is over with. I don't trust him. Uh, I'll take a drink. Taggart uh, says, okay, the cask has writing on it, Manfang. Give me an intelligence check. <laughs> oh, you finally got one in, didn't you? Grandpa, can you flip them off for me? Huh? Oh, I tried. Dude. Hey, let me show you something. That's a 13. That's a 13. Minus two. Minus two. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a 11. It's dwarvish in nature. He knows that much. Anybody speak dwarvish? Uh, actually, Frankie does. I speak dwarvish. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, it is entitled Grogan's Firewater. Uh, oh, there you go. Gonna be something spicy. It's supposed to be some like poison. No, hey, poison. That's a good drink, man. Roggins fire water. I'll take a swig of that. Party swig. Give me a constitution check. My throat's on fire. Keep that right there and roll up in yeah, there. Is that good? I'll take a swig too. It's great. Two? No, you got plus three. Oh, sorry. Five. It burns your throat. That's what I thought. Felix, Constitution. Is it yeah, let's, <laughs> nothing says fun like a little bit of that. Uh, see, that's a roll. You're just kind of throwing it down. 17? Uh, it burns going down your throat as well, and it starts to take effect immediately. This is very good, but it should probably have an octane rating on it. <laughs> <laughs> What's an octane? Rating? I don't know alcohol. Is that better than that? I'm going to ask Felix if that's better than that swill that Copious has been passing around. Well, I think that it is. It, uh, it has a harsh aftertaste and uh, a bite. To wit, Manfang suffers four hit points of damage. He gave oh. me sauce in a glass. Minus four right there. He gave me Tabasco sauce in a glass. Felix, go ahead and give me an insight check. 
to spit acid. I wouldn't think the best. <laughs> oh, shit. It, it, Seven? It works adversely with it. Uh, if you didn't know any better, you'd say this stuff is probably more akin to lantern fuel. I, I want to ask, so am I there now? Mm -hmm. I, Everybody is there. So I want to ask him if it's uh, that potent, if this stuff is flammable, can we go line part of that uh, path down with this and then set that sucker on fire once I've got four cats? I'm thinking fried pussycat sounds like a good way to handle this problem. Yeah, good idea. Taggart, Taggart points out that uh, Egg has two such small casks uh, and would suggest the word is great care when igniting it. Okay, so what he's saying is get very far away before it explodes. He, he will confirm that it is highly flammable. Okay, let's take the kegs then. Uh, did you know that um, record, um, when you scratch off like the things that records are made out of, like the plastic or wax, it's very flammable as well. It's vinyl. It's vinyl. <laughs> That's why. That's why people well, in the 70s used to spontaneously combust in discos. <laughs> I, I, I think we have a bard who throws fire or something or other, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Do you? Sometimes. I was thinking if we if we spread this out, uh, once we know that the tabacs are coming, sort of spread this on that path, we could probably light those suckers on fire. Have well, them charge, charge down into that pit because everything around them is on fire. Got a trench well, on the bottom while we cut some brush and stuff and, and logs down on both sides of it and pour this crap on and we can set those on fire. Funnel them down the path? <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, funnel them down the path. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, let's try it. They're so not going to go down this path. Oh, they'll go down the path. So you're you're going to line the sides of the path with logs, kind of forcing them into a funnel? And then let yeah. the logs on fire. Yeah. So are you going to spread the Grogan's fire water down the path or just at the base where the where the bungee or the sticks I want are going to be? spread the fire on the logs so I uh, can ignite them. Maybe instead what we should do is hide up the path a little ways and then put the fire at the top of the path so then they have to run away from it into the pit. But, the, but as soon as somebody hits the pit, like you were saying before, they're going to run off the sides. Then we got to put the logs on the side. Ah, yes. And our cats, they aren't going to have any problem getting over a log wall unless it's burning. Unless it's on fire. That's right. Is the path is the path dirt, mud, or sand? At this mud. mud, mud. I know the one part is mud. <clears throat> Let's cover. That's the best idea. You know, we can still do that. We could just cover the wall in grease. I got throw. I could put a, a a fire spear at the top of the top of the mud slide. If you can get them all in the same area and then set off the fire so they yeah. can't escape, you can do lob missile weapon fire into the middle of them. Yeah. So you, you want to create two opposing walls of fire on the logs lining the path to keep them in the funnel, a.k.a. the uh, dwindling path. Is that dwindling what I'm path down to the, the hole with the spikes. Okay. Uh, Felix, give me another percentage roll, please. <laughs> Damn it. 39. Uh, you get the hole dug, you get the sticks in place, and you get most of it covered with fronds from the jungle uh, by afternoon. Okay. So we still got to cut logs. All right. There may be down logs we just drag up here. I mean, no sense cutting them if we don't have to. What if I do a look through the jungle? What, what if I do a really big axe spin and cut down a bunch of trees like a tree? Like, yeah, um, we may have to do that. Let's see if we had to find down ones, then you can cut them down if we don't. Yeah, what's the what's the character from Looney Tunes? What's his name? Uh, who did the Paul, who Paul Bunyan? Tasmanian Devil. Yeah, yeah. Tasmanian Devil. Yeah, I should spin like that. Uh, he didn't use an axe. I know, but I'll spin with my axe. Leaf D twelve against me. See how your performance goes. Woo! I'm gonna roll horribly. 
five. Eleven. Uh, <laughs> you are starting to drag uh, the logs that you found, and you are able to complete. Let's do percentage. Well, not bad. You're able to get 63% of the log path done uh, when a young turtle comes running up uh, quite concerned. Uh, Nomi gets the child calm and discovers that four tabaxi are approaching and will be here within just a few minutes. Are they coming down the path? They are coming down the path as they have previously. Let's just, let's get on either side right now. I, there's only four of them. Let's just get on either side and we'll have the advantage of surprise and attack them. We can just take those four out in case there's more. That may be an advanced party. Silent takedown. So we just- I don't want to use group. up our, I don't want to use up our trap on this if that's all, if, if there's more coming is what I'm saying. What do you think? The uh, elder said that normally it's four is how many they have that that come in. I think we have to have it set up so we can use it if we need it. Yeah. We should probably take them hostage. Uh, well, I'm saying let's let's just attack these without using the trap. Because when they don't go back, there'll be a bigger party coming. That's that's just my thought on it. But if if we take these four out, we'll backtrack down the path back to the ship yeah. and see where the ship's anchored. Because that's what we do. Another Listen, I, I'm not planning on saying a captain. I want to be Commodore Copious before we're done. So, oh, okay. You know, the Japanese, they, they drip water on their foreheads for torture because so they couldn't fall asleep. So eventually they die of hunger and thirst. So, yay or nay on the Grogan's fire water initially? Uh, initially. Ooh. DM says initially. We're not done with the walls. Well, I, I don't, I, I, I don't I, want to pour it on the walls yet because they're not done. Yeah, that that is why I said initially. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. If they aren't done, let's not waste that fire and water. It, it's good stuff. I might take a flask with me to go. You're gonna pour it. Down. Fair enough. Uh, you guys are gonna hide at the top. Uh, back up the jungle just a little bit. Okay, but up on top of the ridge, not yeah, down by where the ridge you're... on either side of the, of the trail. Everybody give me stealth checks. <laughs> it's just you four as Robert is still hashing out the details. 17. 25. Uh, 18. I'm aerodynamic now that I don't have any wind resistance. And, and you're going to get sunburnt. <laughs> Not with my hat. Hey, I got an 18. 12. Uh, Leaf is going to be the most visible party member. Are you guys going to do four on one side or two and two? for a potential crossfire. You better do four on one side. I don't want to get caught in the crossfire, not with the, the crazy archer there. With the curved arrows, I have a 100% hit rate, usually. I don't want to be on the same side as Leaf. He's going to, that, the two melee guys? Uh-oh. -uh. I'm going to be on next to them. And what about your total assistance? They can keep digging. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, now the but pit's they're... done. What? It's done. It's done. Okay. We don't. I, I'd rather they be out of the way. Well, I say you put them down, down farther down the path. We're on the top of the ridge. Put the turtles down at the bottom. Yeah. Have them charge in, charge in to attack and tie up the others. I'll shoot it into the melee combat if the the fighting the turtles. If I could catch, if anybody makes it past us, they could catch them down there at the, the mudslide. Yeah. I, I think you're overestimating our ability to just take out these four so easily. Yeah. With all this discussing, the Tabaxis have already reached us and are now running towards the city. No, he doesn't need help. He screws us over just fine. So, uh, copious yay or nay with your three associates? Uh, nay, I'm not going to be on the same side as they are. Okay, so any fumbles <laughs> are going after him. Any fumbles? You're going to use more than just your hair. That's right. You are hearing noises. Uh, none of you speak to Baxi, correct? Nope. 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 You hear voices coming down the jungle path as you maintain uh, your stealthiness. None of you can see Felix at this point. That guy is freaking commandoed out, has the war paint everywhere with a 23. He is invisible I thought, at this I point. Cohen, 
going commando. That's Kobe has a 25. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Kobe's I only had a 17. He looks like a giant mushroom now. <laughs> uh, here they come. Uh, let's make this easier on me. Everybody roll initiative, and then I'll continue on with the discussion. 11. Initiative? 15. 15. 10. 15, 10, and 14, and an 11. Uh, standard two by two formation for those of you who are diehard fans. Uh, they're moving down the trail without a single care in the world. Uh, as you watch intently as they approach, they don't give two shits about this job. They are simply going in, getting the stuff, and leaving. They do not have a care in the world. We will start with a 15 leaf. Uh, are you going to call the ball or let him go in? I'm, I'm going after him. Okay. There are four. Uh, you will have one. Manfang has two. Copius has number three. And Felix has number four. If you guys are all attacking. Go ahead, Leaf. I'm using my flame blade. I'll ignite it when I swing it. The druid leaps right. from his surprise and attacks. Setting the entire jungle on fire. There we go. Uh, <laughs> one attack. So, Eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Seventeen. These tabaxi are dressed in chain mail. That's my question: Is what are they wearing before you attack? Yep. Metal chain mail. 15 points. Ouch. Uh, next up, 14, Captain Copius. Captain Copius is looking. What are the weapons that they're wearing? Uh, they are wearing chain mail. They carry rapiers. Uh, not drawn yet, but clearly they will draw soon enough. Oh, okay. Um, actually, I'm going to move up the from the jungle. I'm going to move farther up the path to take a, a just to look to make sure nothing else is coming up the way. Wise choice. And there then I'm going to cast a major a shadow armor on myself as I do. Fair enough. Uh, tie at eleven, Felix. I will let you go before the Tabaxi go. I am going to remain hidden in the jungle brush and fire an arrow out. However, I rolled an 11 for a hit, and I think I missed them. You did miss them. You know what? They didn't know you were there. They didn't give a crap. I am going to just try and react this round, so I will give Man Fang at 10 uh, your attack, and then we will start over. 14. Plus, what's your attack? You plus got a plus on that. 22. All right, 22. Easily, uh, you leap from your position. Are you still wearing that turtle shell? Yeah. <laughs> Putz. <laughs> eleven, five, and six. Right? Yep, he did eleven. Eleven. Yeah, not bad. Uh, new round. Your Tabaxi pirates uh, were initially stunned at the ferocity of your attack. And it's uh, it's a go right now. Uh, Copious D12 against me. Let's see if they spotted you coming down behind them with an eight. Uh, nine. Uh, they did not, so they're going to peel off. Yours is going to go after one, two, three, four, or five, six. Five going after Felix this round until you are spotted. Uh, we will start again with Leaf at the top of the order. Round two. Um, just quick question. Make sure I'm doing this right. Mm -hmm. Does my action is use your action to make a melee spell attack with this buried blade? Mm -hmm. So when I use a fire blade, it's a melee spell attack. Uh, yes, it leaps over to uh, another individual within five feet and does damage to them. Oh, 
So you hit somebody when you successfully hit somebody. Green flame leaps from the blade and attacks somebody within five feet. Uh, enemy, not ally. I did not know that. Okay. Okay. So it's still the flame blade still uses my normal attack with a blade. Mm -hmm. You got to hit in order to make the green flame hop. Okay. So I, I got a 19. Yep, that hits. And then just roll a normal damage. You roll normal damage, and then uh, I forget. Uh, die six or die eight for the flame. Mm -hmm. oh, I love these green dice. That's another 15. Ouch. Uh, yeah. And then what do I do? Uh, you call Kyle, who is my spell guy, and he tells you why I'm stupid and need to read more. <laughs> it, uh, and that's why I was wondering. It, it, it's a little bit of information, but it doesn't complete the information. Right. Uh, you know what? I, I don't worry about it now. I have, uh, anyway. you know, go with a D6. Uh, I have it here for green flame. It says the second creature takes fire damage equal to the spell casting ability modifier. Fifth level, it's uh, spell casting modifier plus a die eight damage on both the original attacker, a uh, uh, defender, and the the one that the flame leaped to. So oh, okay, so it gets both of them. It's yes, at fifth level, if he's fifth level druid casting spell, <laughs> casting modifier is eight. So it's eight plus a die eight. Is that what you're saying? No, eight, eight is your standard. Then you've got your proficiency and your modifier. Yeah, spell casting modifier is probably your wisdom bonus, isn't it, for a druid? Mm -hmm. Wisdom bonus is five. So you get five plus. Did you say D eight? D eight. Yeah, so five casting plus at second eight. level. At fifth level, it's an additional die eight. Yeah. So that's ten points. Uh, you are going to implode one of the Kroken uh, pirates. Uh, roll a d6. Uh, one, two, it'll be Manfangs. Three, four, it'll be Copiuses. Five, six, it'll be Felixes. That one. you also hit one. So you hit Manfangs for 10 as well. There you go. Uh, next up, 14, Captain Copius. No, I don't see any more um, sailors, raiders coming up the path. And the three living ones do not know you are there yet. Ah, uh, so I'll cast. Um, if only you were a rogue. <laughs> I may be a rogue at least one level, um, but I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast at the the oh, whichever no. one's taking damage. Uh, that, that last time we got in the battle. That mm -hmm. that doesn't look like a, a positive face. It may not be. I uh, I think the sunburn and the 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 is has infected Copius more than he thought. The the trials of the night before. Boing. As the shine, uh, the sunshine bounces off your brow. It affects your judgment. You can roll a d6. One, two, leaf. Three, four, manfang. Five, six, Felix. Six. And Felix takes an Eldridge blast. <laughs> can I do an uncanny dodge on that? I uh, know because this is not you being attacked. <laughs> is that halved? That's the half. Felix, you take uh, Eldritch Blast right to the face. Uh, the good news is uh, it is your turn uh, and you have two That's tabaxi on you. <laughs> shoot co co Lovely. So I'm going to do two things. Uh -huh. I want to fire an arrow as my action. Okay. And then I want to use my cunning action to try to hide back in the jungle and hopefully put this singe out of my eyebrows. So when you say you're going to shoot an arrow, I'm going to need to know who you're shooting at. I'm <laughs> where <laughs> you're shooting because you still got those curved arrows. I'm going to shoot at the tabaxi for this round. Okay. Your, your tabaxi, I assume? My tabaxi, yes. Gotcha. And I missed. And, and so you uncannily dodge into a patch of poison ivy. Is that what I just heard? No, no, no. I missed with the arrow for oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I have to do for my hiding action. 
Uh, uh, there are two of them looking at you, so uh, give me a d20. Oh boy. I, I, I highly doubt you will be able to hide from them. 18? You'll, uh, you know what? I'll give you disadvantage on one of them. Uh, so as two of them close in on you, I will just straight up attack you at disadvantage from one of them as you hide behind a tree uh, and effectively add to your armor class. Uh, the rapier doinks off the bark of the tree and misses you. However, yours, let's do a little bit of combat superiority here. I am going to size you up and use a precision attack. I need you to make a DC 14 save, please. Uh, you can use your dexterity as the modifier. 18. Uh, so uh, my precision attack will fail. Did my attack even hit? Uh, my attack didn't even hit with an eight unless a 14 gets you. Uh, the other one alive is Manfang. You know what? I'm going to use precision attack on you as well. I hit you with a 19 plus six. So go ahead and give me a maneuver save DC 14. 14, so 14 or higher, but you can do it. Do it. Do it. Do a one. Oh, if it was a one, I was going to take an I. <laughs> uh, D8. Man has left the building. That boy can't roll a die to save his life. I pick it up and roll 17, 18, 20. He picks it up two, three. You're using all, right. all the good ones. He takes 15 damage as it, it puts a T in his chest instead of a Z for Zorro. Uh, it is now Manfang's turn to return fire. Hey, could you keep rolling those crappy dice for me, please? Nine plus eight. Save yeah. roll 17. That's good enough. That's good enough. Roll some damage. Good news is his is heavily damaged. Oh, and he rolled a 12 to start 17. With. Dead. Tabaxi number two is dead. Top of the order as we go into round three. Leaf, the <laughs> druid. You have nobody on you. Manfang has nobody on him. It looks like Captain Copius, his tabaxi has now spotted him. He has one. Felix is down to just one on his. So, I, I like to go Felix is closer. I'm going after it. It's got its back to me. Yes. Is there an advantage to that? Uh, not for your uh, actions. That's too bad. And I rolled a. a where's my attack? 21, dirty. <laughs> uh, give me a DC 14 dex. 21 dirty 21 yeah i can't help it the uh dice rolling next to him he's got me giddy uh has it jumped yet <laughs> yeah. 10 points is there anybody is the other one close enough to take uh green fire actually give me that dc 14 first because i'm going to use evasive footwork to see if i can uh, oh, okay. nullify your attack I wrote a 14. Okay, yeah, you got me. How much damage was there? 10. To number four. Gotcha. Is the other one within five feet? The other one is not within five feet. Okay. So uh, how much green flame damage did you do to this one? Before? Oh, I can go to this one? Yeah, it affects yeah, two. All right, I, I'm just, this is new for me. It's new Eight. to me, too. We're just making shit up. Eight points. <laughs> 18. Uh, very good. Captain Copius, uh, yours now advances on you with malice in its eyes. Jesus. Uh, between you and Copius. I'm going to start with Eldritch Blast again. Cover up, Felix. <laughs> uh, dirty 20. That hits. Uh, 
You guys are all worried. Come on. Eight points. Fair enough. Uh, Felix, you and I tied. I'll let you go first. Keeping in oh. mind, if you do somehow kill me, I'll still get my attack in. I'm going to do the same thing where I fire an arrow and try to hide again. And I missed with the arrow again. So you're around a tree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. And uh, how did how did we do your uh, hide last time? Uh, I think it was just a straight up. It was a D twenty plus. It was anything? Was it? I think it was straight up D twenty. You're correct. That's a six. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get you this time. Uh, my turn. I will attack Copious, and I will attack, of course, uh, the last sane member of the party for Copious. Fourteen plus six is a dirty twenty. I trip. Uh, Felix, you will have, you alone will have advantage on me next time. Um, Copious, give me a DC 14 on a maneuver. Natural 18. Okay, so just one. So a one, add four, you take five piercing damage. Uh, Man Fang, there are two left. Uh, one is on Felix, one is on Copious. Which would you like to go after? Oh, and can I do my Hellish Rebuke before you move off that character since he attacked me? Sure. So that's, uh, your, that character has to do DC 15. For Dex? For Dex, I think, yeah. 11 plus 4 is 15. Oh. I dodge your demonic flame they're cats man they're dodging stuff you're up man thing Sorry. <laughs> you roll 21 and roll 14 points of damage. To which one? The one on Felix. Dead. As uh, Manfang buries his axe in the back of the fallen Tabaxi, Felix, your uh, advantage on him is null and void. Top of the order, round number four. Uh, outnumbered four to one. Uh, what are you going to do with this Tabaxi, Leaf? as he eyeballs his options. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it, if I can hit it. Sure. Fuck your weapon! Yep. One. Uh, you, have you, your, you have your pick of the litter, roll a d4. <laughs> uh -huh. What's that? D4, one U, two man fang, three copious. Of course, four will hit Felix. Hey, one. Yeah, you hit yourself. Stop hey. hitting yourself. Copious, uh, despite Leaf's best intentions, he has attempted to cut off his toe. Yeah, up. four points. I, I'm going to try. I'm summon my uh, pack weapon, but I'm as I'm doing that, I'm going to call out in common to see if the creature speaks common. What are you going to call out to it? I'm going to say, "You're outnumbered. Surrender or die." Felix, you want to go first, or you want to pause and let the tabaxi see if he answers? You ask him the question, then you cut him in half. I want to go. I want to shoot. Go ahead. All righty. The tabaxi begins to speak. Natural 20. <laughs> and, uh, this is a sneak attack, too, right? It is because it's uh, copiouses and he he is a damage damage modifier. Oh, where's my damage? It wasn't prepared. Six plus seven plus three, so sixteen plus another twelve for the sneak attack. Twenty-eight. Kind sir, funk. 
the arrow goes right through him like Steve Martin. <laughs> uh, the tabaxi rolls one down the mudslide or two through four a different direction. One down the mudslide into the pit. <laughs> Uh, the turtles come running out from their hidden location and begin to stab at the tabaxi body, riddled with spear damage. I wonder what he was going to say. Uh, D12 against me, Copious. Let's let's see what he was going to say. I don't know that I want to find out now. Two. Uh, I, I was willing to listen. <laughs> Felix! I got him. Did you see it, guys? Right in the head. Do the, uh, oh, God. Uh, Mad Dog Tannen thing at the end of the third movie. <laughs> oh, well done. Well, congratulations. The Crokins, the Crokins are defeated. Clearly. This marks the end. <laughs> Clearly. That was easy. All right. <laughs> Says the guy with Eldridge Blast still smoking on his chest. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, if we can collect our reward and get off this islet fast enough before the real marauders show up. Sure. Uh, uh, 50 gold pieces in gems if you want to search the bodies. Uh, if you want to search the body that went into the pit, I'm going to require a dex check. Otherwise, you're going to stick yourself. I'm going to go down there and I want to search that body. Sure. I want to head back. While they're resetting the trap and cleaning out the bodies, I want to go back up the trail um, and just to make sure nothing else is coming. Sure. And see how not go so far that they couldn't hear me if I screamed like a little girl, but or little boys for that matter, but um, far enough to see if I can see where their ship on the out in the bay. Sure. Felix? 13. 13. Yeah, 13. You, uh, you dodge it uh, as you leap down into the pit to uh, pilfer the individual's pockets. You notice that one of the sticks is very close to hallowed ground, but not stabbing you. <laughs> Do I find anything in the pockets? Oh yeah, it's it's blood and gore at the bottom because your tortal assistants have just skewered the shit out of that thing. But you do find fifty gold pieces and gems on that one as well. So a total of two hundred gold pieces. Uh, Copious, you want to get down the path, but not so far that they can't hear you scream, correct? Whoa. Okay. Correct. Uh, you are not going to find any water. Uh, you're going to find uh, thick jungle and footsteps, tabaxi footsteps uh, on the path. I can, I just started to break up a little bit. I can see where their footsteps were. Because mm -hmm. the jungle is rather damp. You can also hear the cheering of the turtles as uh, they go in and stab the dead tabaxi in a frenzy. They are in a frenzy. All right. I'll... A little bit. Is he cutting Back out on everybody or just me? No, he's cutting out on everybody. I think that look needs to be on a meme. It does. Still gone. While we're waiting for him, uh, Manfang and Felix, what would you guys like to do? Uh, celebrate with the locals or... Uh, no, I think what we probably should do is have the locals get these bodies out of here in case oh, they, they've got no problem doing that. They, they're stabbing the shit out perfect. of it and they're dragging them back to town. Perfect, perfect. They will be uh, on I guess full I'll, display. I guess I will head up the jungle and go find 
Copious in hopes to rescue his uh, battered body that fell out of, into the pit. The the bullet rid or the arrow ridden body of Copious. Yep. Sure. Uh, Cupid, uh, you found nothing on your jaunt down the trail. Uh, you go back up, Felix. Uh, he he went a couple hundred yards, uh, but it's just a winding trail through. Uh, Copious D12 against me, though. Ooh. 12. 10. You spot the panther before the panther spots you. It's lazily sitting in a tree. Uh, so I will freeze in place for a moment. Uh, Didn't you just do that? <laughs> I did. I did it really well, too. We're going to meme you. <laughs> I've already been maimed. I'm beardless, mustacheless, hairless. You are quite the sphinx. You uh, are an odd like fish onions. like odd fish games. Oh. <laughs> nice. Throw the sponsors plug. in there. That's right. Product placement, yeah. Um, I will try to move stealthily back away, uh, back in the opposite direction from the panther. As you start to do that, give me a stealth roll, and you hear Felix, Copious! Copious! Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming you're looking for him, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think that I would be uh, yelling. Copious celebration yeah. over here! Come on, you're missing it. <laughs> 24. That does sound like. I'm going to kill that guy when I get out of here. <laughs> uh, the big cat does not appear to be concerned at all with either the yelling of your friends who are actively searching to make sure your well being is intact or uh, the fact that, you know, there's probably something else in here. It gives a great big yawn, stretches out across the uh, branch and appears to be getting ready to take a nap. Uh, Leaf and Manfang, uh, you finally cajoled the turtle, or yes, the turtles, into stopping the uh, blood frenzy on the dead tabaxi bodies and have ordered them to take them out, hidden, take them to the town square. What do you want to do with this? Take them and hide and take them away from here out into the jungle and just leave them. So when they come around to flank us, they see their dead brethren and get more angry. Yeah, that's all right. Dude. We don't care. That'll work. Uh, Felix, you uh, notice Copius is doing his very careful, backward, stealthy move. I'll let you do perception to see if you notice what the problem is. May I correct the DM on one thing? Sure. There's somebody out in the jungle looking to check on Copius' well-being. We wanted to strip the corpse. You want to what? Strip the corpse. You've got all those rings on. Oh, well, he's missing one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. Nope, I rolled a nine. All right, you don't know what he's doing. Uh, some kind of new dance move, apparently. Uh, Copius and Felix, uh, you are gathered. Would you like to return uh, or press deeper down the trail in the hopes of finding more crokins? <laughs> I'm going to ask Copius what he saw, and if, I mean, there's nothing around here. I don't see anything, at least. Copius, do you point out the... Okay, okay so, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not... <laughs> I'll freeze in place for a minute, too, but I'm guessing that it's... What are you doing? I don't... What is, first words? It, it sounds like... <laughs> Uh, as he points wildly uh, towards the beast, you notice that it is just kind of laying over the uh, elongated branch and just kind of taking a little afternoon nap. You return back. Uh, there are trails in the mud and uh, Leaf and Manfang, I assume you're going to direct the uh, shovel guys to fix the pit trap, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, everybody is now together at the base, uh, assuming Felix and Copius do not roll ones. Gentlemen, D20s. 14. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> wow. Oh, you are in so much trouble. Uh, seven and a five. Take 12 damage as you were impaled. Let's do one to two, three to four, an ugly five or six. <laughs> I'm going to let you roll for this one. Five, 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 five. Uh, scraped across the head. It would have been better if it was a five. Good news is you guys didn't attach any toxin to the, <laughs> the stickies. <laughs> Somebody want to get the uh, bald naked gnome out of the pit? I guess. I'll reach him out. The turtles throw down their shovels in disgust after just having cleaned the pit. <sighs> there is a lot of grumbling going on since nobody speaks turtle. You do not understand how massively mad they are at uh, copious harsh in their buzz of victory. Uh, once he is removed as the spike cut a nice jagged uh, cut. How, how bad was that uh, on your hit points? How about we make it a scar and make it. That's what I'm wondering. Charisma. Yeah. About twenty five percent of my total hit points. It it will heal. Uh, I'll give you advantage at intimidation, disadvantage at persuasion for the next one day. <laughs> you look really scary, Rock. <laughs> uh, you dig him out. Uh, you go back. The runners have already pointed out that you guys have been victorious. The tabaxi threat has been removed. I want to see if we can get a, a spotter back up on the path to keep yep. an eye out. Uh, Nomi selects. She would like to select a young one if that works for you, or she can get a, a middle-aged one. Portal. Young. Okay. Uh, the mother insists that two of them go <laughs> Uh, we should finish the uh, log walls on both sides. Let's get this pit repaired in case we have a big party come looking for their friends. That's one way to do it. Or, or we pack up our shit and we get back to the boat <laughs> and GTFO. You know, we did our job. I mean, if the village elder is happy with the work. Uh, Actually, if we load our ship, we could sail around and attack the other ship. That's true as well. That we ship. only said that only four of them usually come, <laughs> and we can take that ship. We, uh, you've certainly got options here. So, Leaf, I assume you're telling the workers to get back to work and get the logs yeah. moved. I'm telling them to finish it. Okay, uh, Manfang, are you hanging with Leaf or are you going back into town? I'll go back into town. Copious, hang or town? Town. I want to. I did. I just. I'm putting them all back to work. Doesn't mean I'm going to help them. Well, you got to supervise. <laughs> Tote that bale, lift that barge. Uh, Felix. Oh, I'm town for sure. Okay. Uh, I'll them and say, where are you guys going? Town. We're going to uh, go. Gonna we're going to go collect our reward and load our ship. Yeah, let's go. What are you waiting on? <laughs> Four. <laughs> We were told um, there were four raiders, one, two, three, four raiders dead. Well, let's go then. I'm going with them. Do you want to take one of the shovel guys with you as proof? Yes. Okay. Uh, you guys all tromp it. Leaf, I heard you were going into town, right? I'm going with them, yeah. You five, shovelman included, uh, head back into town. He is quite jubilant and raising his shovel, doing the fist pump uh people quickly gather around they have also already heard word that hey you know you, you've done the job robert and the uh elder taggart uh come out uh and robert gives a big wave and says i told you my people could handle this they do what they're told and those are the results you get uh regale us uh my underlings with what we have provided uh, for Dimbo Point. I think we're going to get them all killed, what we provided. 
being yeah. put on the spot since none of you are answering robert yells out victory victory and everybody uh oh victory uh, victory whatever the hell that means taggart uh would like a recap though okay i'll uh we were up there we set up some traps for them and we were able to <laughs> while the traps were being constructed the tabaxi arrived a little bit early but that was okay because we had a spotter to watch for him we then encountered them in the jungle took them by surprise and it was a very easy victory victory i'm gonna yell the crowd chimes in again even though they don't know what that word means robert a word right quick <laughs> and then i'm gonna just yell. i need no <laughs> accolades for my performance uh, yes yes I... <laughs> a word, robert though victory victory i'm gonna yell and then Tiger, gonna excuse me while i i i I listen to my underlings. <laughs> I'm going to grab him by the shoulder and pull him in real close and say, we need to go. Why? Uh, uh, to keep your voice down. I'm going to say. Victory! Were... Victory! 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 What's the problem? You got him, right? We got the four of them, but there is reason to believe that uh, when those four don't show up back at their ship or wherever they are going back to, they're going to send more, and we don't want to be here when those come. No shit. Didn't you go check on the... I, I thought you set up traps and stuff. Victory! Victory! Ah! Yeah, how do I say this gently? The total war or the total laborers were not as efficient as we had planned, and the traps are kind of... Uh, I mean, well, you know, they'll do the job. Look at Copious over there. Yeah, this dumbass fell down, isn't it? <laughs> no, it makes him look prettier. Uh, yeah, well, you know. He's still a haunting it's... visage being hairless. He looks like Dr. Evil at the moment. <laughs> or his cat. <laughs> or his cat. <laughs> Mr. Pigglesworth. That's right. You got a scar around your eye in the shape of a monocle. Uh, so, Robert. So you're saying we got to get the hell out of here. I'm saying it's in our best interest if we don't stick around. Let's maybe avoid the victory dinner tonight and head to our ship and get the hell out of here. I, I'm not sure that we'll be able to claim the entire reward. I mean, we might be able to get some supplies, but they're, they're still off uh, doing the Lord's work, gathering uh, everything that I had requested. Well, I mean, we... I mean, at best, uh, you know, there, there's, there's the possibility... <laughs> that they've only gotten you know 14 percent of what i asked for right? <laughs> good lord the dice give us and take it away uh, you know i we we can probably 14%? get to we can probably get to it, it was you know that that's that's actually quite a lot I what mean, I, have you been telling them when we were out there in the well jungle? you know they, they were what asking you... about stories so i didn't you know i didn't want to refuse the adorn you know look at it this way had it been copious there would have been zero percent because he would have just been yapping away about how great he is i mean at least i that got you know some of it some of them to work so wow. you know we i if you want to take the 14 percent and skedaddle oh great so we're gonna starve at sea that's what you're telling us well we can always find another port we've got the okay. maps i'm not <laughs> uh, do, okay. we even, do we even know how big this warship is i mean maybe it's just eight 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 of them and we can take them well yeah maybe but <laughs> I mean, look at us. How, how many people did we have? So, you know. <laughs> yes, us. The best fighters in the world. Victory! Victory! Uh, okay, maybe how fast can they get the supplies? Go and uh, see how fast they can get us. I don't know. Oh, Taggart. Uh, how, are, how is our reward coming? Uh, the crowd again. Oh, victory! Uh, we we're working as fast as we can i mean in the next hour we might be able to get uh <laughs> we might be able to get three more percent out of them. <laughs> uh you know 
What about by morning? How many supplies can we get by morning? Uh, up to 91% probably. <laughs> Oddly specific, but yes. I think that if we wait until morning and we leave at first light, 91% should be able to get us where we are trying to go. Uh, I would agree. I I really rook these guys. <laughs> That's but we're 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 set to have three weeks fresh water okay. and food. I don't even know if the ship will hold it all. Perfect. <laughs> uh, three weeks. That's a lot of time. And we can go anywhere. Uh, yeah, let's have them. I guess they should be working through the night to load our ship for us. So at first light, we will. Taggart, uh, if we may, we have other villages to save and uh, other people to free and victory, victory. victory. Um, we were wondering, uh, we don't need any accolades or any undue ceremony. You guys have done far too much. Would it be possible to go ahead and gather the remainder of the agreed upon sum uh, by tomorrow morning and uh, we will let you go about your business in the uh, and bask in the freedom that we have given you. Uh, who wants to roll off against me? Felix. D12 it, Felix. Oh boy, he's the red one. Five? Yes. Four! Oh. <sighs> we really would like to show our gratitude, but if you are in a hurry... Um, we will suspend the ceremony uh, and go ahead and gather the accumulated agreed upon items. FYI, the 14% is what the tabaxi were here for. Wow. You did really rook them there. He Robert. rooked them. Yep. Oh, boy. Assuming it all fits. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you could ask for 14 tons of gold, but if you can only carry two. Here's what we should tell them. Tell them that we will be Victory! back. Victory! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> tell them we will be back in four weeks, and we will celebrate then. We have to go sail off, and then we'll return, and we will have our celebration then. <laughs> Uh, you know Tagger can speak common. You could ask him yourself if you want, or you can let oh, Robert oh, keep going. No. Robert, that's good. <laughs> I I don't have the people skills of that. I'm the sure D twelve against me. Ten, six. Uh, Ooh. we will have a fantastic celebration in your honor. So. Uh, with that agreed upon, uh, Leaf has already made arrangements for them to continue digging their trenches and their walls and their log timber. Uh, not that if you know you guys will be there to see any of it through. Uh, you know, you can go ahead and help them fortify. You've still got plenty of daylight here today. Um, what would you like to do with your time? Victory! Victory! Uh, I'm going to go fill up a flask with that fire water from earlier. That stuff was good. I assumed we were just taking both uh, uh, kegs with us. Oh, yeah, that we works. Did. Yeah, you did. I want it for personal consumption. Yeah, that's why we're taking it, right? <laughs> yeah, just not for munitions is my point. Uh, not near open flame. Yes. I still would like to go back the path just to see what we're leaving for this this group. So if I can get someone to go with me, we'll go back the path. I want to see the other ship. We don't want to sail out to the harbor in our ship and immediately get attacked by some other warship. Sure. That's inter that's an interesting that's theory. Let's Who, wants that happen? Who wants to go out? Okay. Uh, 
you guys head on out. Nona asks what you are doing. We're just gonna recon. Okay. You know, Copious, he's a, a brewmaster and he heard that there's some exotic plants in this area. We're just gonna go and search for some exotic plants, spices, that kind of stuff. I, I can lead you to where uh, the spices can be found if you'd like. Oh, that would be lovely. Yes, please. Sure. Uh, you guys go past the uh, shovelers who uh, are looking less motivated by the minute, uh, <laughs> considering they have nobody telling them what to do. These guys are not self-starters, clearly, uh, but they are moving a lot of logs, uh, which... Uh, you can hear some scuttlebutt and Nomi eh, kind of shakes her head. Good. Ask her what, what uh, are they saying? Uh, they feel that, uh, you know, they aren't sure why they're doing this since the threat's been eliminated, but maybe they can just build stairs out of this. Fair enough. We'll keep heading out. Whatever happens after we sail away, they can do what they want. Uh, you guys uh, all get to the top. Since Felix has already fallen once before, I would assume learning has occurred. Uh, you get to the top. You get to the point where Copius spotted the cat. Uh, Copius, D12 against me. Nine. Three. Uh, big cat's gone. Yay. Uh, you travel another two miles uh, through winding, dense jungle with Nomi pointing out, that's what we call breadfruit. Those are some spices. Don't touch that flower. Um, I've heard good captains always stock breadfruit. I don't know any good captains, so... We captain. should grab some breadfruit. Okay. It always worked well for English ships in the Southeast Asia. That's true. Uh, uh -huh. who, who wants to climb the tree? Or have Felix shoot at it? He's out on the ship somewhere. I hope our ship's still where we left it. It is not. You told him to move it. <laughs> we don't know where it's at. You do not know where it's at. <laughs> I'll turn into an ape and climb the tree to get the bread for it. Ah, nicely done. Are you going to throw it at him? Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, very good. I'll, see if you I'll toss it down. I'll toss, I'll toss it down. <laughs> see if you hit any of them. I think that would be hilarious. What do I need to roll? <laughs> What's your ACs, gentlemen? <laughs> 17. 15. 18. I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> your target. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Pick your target. Well, we'll do that one, two, three, four thing. Five, sure. six, one, two would be what? Copious. Three, four is Felix. Five, six is Man Fang. It's a four. Me, Felix man. takes one to the face. Can I uncanny dodge that one too? <laughs> you were waiting for him to throw it. You take three hit points of damage as the breadfruit explodes all over your face. Catch like you play for Dallas. What the hell? I'm going to let out a string of obscenities. And... <laughs> I'll toss some more down. <laughs> Shake Nomi, my fist. Nomi is puzzled as to this and oh. tends to look down the path a little bit more. I'm actually going to look around while I'm up in the top of this tree, too. While throwing the fruit down. You can tell about a mile away there is a hidden cove similar to Dimbo Point. Uh, and there is a three-masted ship with the sails down. And I will, I will pass that information down. <laughs> Can you speak in uh, your current form? I don't know. Can I? I don't think so. Speak to another gorilla? Yeah, you speak yeah. just fine. There's a silverback jumping from tree to tree who does not like the looks of me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, Leaf, give me a, uh, we'll go perception check. Oh, that's my strong suit there. That's my strong arm. That'd be uh, 26. Just ahead on the trail is uh, a pair of large cats eating something. 
uh, but you're about a mile away from that cove, and uh, that's a big ship. Does it look like our ship? It does not. It looks like a standard merchant vessel, similar to the one that got you to play drill in the first place. Let me know whose it is. Commodore 64. Unfortunately, it is not Commodore 64. It is Tabaxi. Oh, boy. And, of course, it it flies the flag of the Krokens. <laughs> Lots of product they may be interested in. Yes, you actually do. You have a significant amount of product, which may or may not be used to uh, bargain, uh, cajole, or force them into terms they do not like. Hmm. No, so, you can. You speak in well, however the beast form. You communicate the same way the beast does. So. <laughs> uh, the uh, the two uh, large cats move on after consuming something. Probably like a giant. Pool. I don't know. Is Leaf throwing poo at us too? He says he's communicating like a gorilla. Give me a reason. Give me a reason. That's he's breathing. He's breathing. That's the reason enough. Big cat. I'm gonna come down. If I've got the breadfruit, then I'll come down out of the tree. Sure. Uh, some of it's on Felix if you need to. Uh, you've collected uh, four loaves of breadfruit. Uh, if you want to taste it, go ahead and give me a con check just to see it's not poison or anything. Just scrape yeah. it off of Felix's face. I'll eat some breadfruit. Uh, 15. 11. I don't like breadfruit that much. Wait, what's my con? 8. It's eight. It's not the greatest. Uh, 17. Yeah, Felix and Leaf like it. Uh, Copious, it's not bad. Uh, Man Fang, you hate it. I don't like red fruit. Uh, I only eat orange. But, uh, lemons. I, I'm going to go ahead and. Now, I, I looked around. I didn't have to see our turtle ship out there anywhere, did I? No. Okay. <laughs> I've come down. I'm, I, it's, I can use a bonus action to convert back. I, I, I will do that. Sure. Why don't you stay in eighth point? And then I will tell them what I saw. There you go. Uh, you got a three masted merchant ship out there flying the tabaxi slash croaken flag. Uh, it's about a mile away from this location. Uh, there were also two uh, giant cats eating something over there. Don't know what it is. Something or someone. Uh, well, no sign. Yeah, I guess crap stain. Uh, <laughs> You uh, have, he did not see your ship, but of course, remember it has a very low profile and from above might even look like shoals. So depending on where Haga's Crabstain, Captain Haga's Crabstain decided to secret this vessel with uh, Tony Dakota, two gnomes and two turtles is anyone's guess at this time. First grid. Our Literally best. anyone's guess. Head back to shore, I can turn into a reef shark and go see if I can find it. Cool. Uh, head back in a couple miles away? Or do you want to take head back to the village? Fair enough. Uh, Nomi was listening. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you say a big ship? No. Three mass. Yeah. You know, it's... How many uh, people would it take to steer something like that? Uh, probably four. Six, maybe, total. We killed four, so they're, they're not going anywhere. Okay. I'm not a sailor. I couldn't really answer any of those questions. You came on a boat. <laughs> What's that? You came on a boat. <laughs> Not a sailor. <laughs> Talk to Captain Copious about these questions. Oh, yes. Now that his persuasion disadvantage is uh, broken, he should be oh, able yeah. to do it real well. Uh, heading back to the village, uh, you notice that uh, the workers are done. They're, they've moved your shit. They don't understand why, uh, but 
the job you gave them has been completed. It looks fairly functioning, uh, but nobody's around. Uh, as you head back through town, Copious, you notice that uh, your salvation now has a new earring in her ear. What can you do? You Does it look like my ring? It's not glowing. Does it look like my ring? Give me an uh, investigation. <laughs> Your ring. Uh, da, 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 da. 21. Yeah, it looks like your ring. Shut up, my gun. <laughs> I'm going to ask, no, I'm dragging Nomi over by the elbow. Okay. The, the, ask, ask the shaman, said, ah, I, I, I noticed you have uh, something that looks familiar on, on your earlobe there. Elbow? Earlobe. Ear, earlobe. She moves her turtle <laughs> shell around, and she also has a similar ring in her what would be navel. It looks like this, does it not? Is that my ring? I'm just asking her point blank. Is that my ring? No. <laughs> Is that the ring that used to be my ring? Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's a definite yes. Hey, at least you still have the other rings. <laughs> I, I thought about lifting them. While I was half unconscious in a bowl of soup made yep. in copious brand soup. Exactly. We're selling that. That's going to be a new label. Oh, wow. <laughs> You'll find a little hair in it. <laughs> You'll find no hair in it. <laughs> no hair in that soup, but it's hair free, a little bit on the urine tangy side, though. Guaranteed <laughs> hair free since 2020. Uh, Power food where you just peel skin off his forehead. Good news, uh, Robert and uh, the uh, tortle speaker Taggart uh, got drunk as you guys walk in. Victory, victory, victory. <laughs> start with that crap again. And he says, I've had a change of heart, we're gonna have that celebration because. I don't want them to miss us for four weeks. <laughs> Did they load anything on the ship? That's the only question that matters right now. Huh. Well, they've got it in a wagon, but uh, <laughs> funny story. Uh, we ate all of I, I, I just told them to hide. I don't know where they went, but I figure they'll be back. Uh, you know what? I'm sure that they'll be back. So, it's Haggis. To... He'll be back. It'll be fine. Yeah, It'll be fine. Victory! <laughs> Victory! Yeah. And which gnome went with Haggis? Phineas. The track. Yeah. They're and Pierre. Back to someplace else by now. And the tabaxi who may or may not be a traitor. Who's smoking his way through all of our future profits. That's true. <laughs> Let's, uh, You'll come by and then just be green powder across his face. Which general direction they went? Uh, <clears throat> no. Uh, Out to sea. You you could probably find them. I mean, can't you turn into a bird thingy? Nope, can't fly. Dark huh. it is. Good. Huh. We asked the village elder where he thinks that they might go to hide a ship of that size. Oh, in a cove on the other side of the jungle. <laughs> About four miles that away is the best spot to hide. <laughs> um, I'm not a sailor. Oh, how's that feel? How's that feel? <laughs> <laughs> Turtle. That's a bird right there. <laughs> I'm not a sailor. I wouldn't know. <laughs> you know, hey, Felix, do you just have the feeling like you want to grab that keg and sit on the beach until the other ship <laughs> arrives? Uh, I kind of do, yeah. I think I've got a little bit of meowie wowie on, in my uh, pouch as well. You know, that keg will probably float. You could do it as a landmine. <laughs> Put it in the water. Like alcohol in the cake and then you shoot it with a flaming arrow. 
Yeah, you know. Any idea? Oh, you're saying explode it. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to go enjoy it on the beach. <laughs> You'll have to make a constitution save every drink you take. <laughs> Maybe I don't then. It is very flammable. Yeah, uh, with so many questions, I think this is a perfect time to end this. Uh, we only had one fight, but, uh, you know, you got to do a lot of planning when you're the Magnificent Four. I mean, uh, no copyright infringement on that. You're plan. fighting and you're fighting. Uh, AJ, did you have a good time? I did. I couldn't get over the thought of uh, copious stewing like Bugs Bunny in carrots and onions. It will haunt you tonight. <laughs> it will haunt me. <laughs> uh, please tell your wife I'm sorry at the nightmarish uh, fiasco that will be your slumber this evening. Uh, Jason, aka. I don't know, chunky stew? What what will we call you? <laughs> uh, rabbit stew. Yeah. Okay, big chunky. Uh, duck stew. Duck stew. Rabbit <laughs> stew. Have no, fun. it's like a garden gnome. Duck soup. Uh, yeah, it, it, again, you're, you're right. Not a lot of combat, but man, there was a lot of images that are going to haunt everybody in this party for a while. You're and, welcome. Uh, the, the, the fear was palpable, and uh, uh, here in, in uh, copious his mind as that sharp blade was scraping along his, his nether region. Especially with that two. <laughs> Especially when the first roll was a two. Like, you know, I managed to fumble twice tonight. <laughs> so uh, Really? Did, Felix, did you catch that? <laughs> yeah, right in the face, wasn't it? I did I, catch that, yes. You know what? I think Copious, uh, he may have to learn a spell for like tele some sort of psychic connection or something. I, I'm going to start Message. See if I can find a wheelbarrow to be in. And just call me Perf Captain X now, Copious X. Oh, Copious X would be nice. I need to get you a helmet. Yeah, that, there we go. <laughs> uh, Man Fang, what'd you think? Oh, great. Yeah, because he didn't get hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Senior, what'd you think? Oh, that was fun. I just I was really tempted to uh, throw poo, but I tried to control myself. I, you know what? I say when you think it, you just go for it. I, you know, I, I, I can't. The, the eighth thing I kind of like, and who's coming? You know, I'm, I'm just happy you guys said, hey, hide our ship. Not hide our ship to the right or hide uh, our ship to the left. You, yeah. you left that door wide open, and I strolled on through it. <laughs> I think that's a clever plan. Yeah. Well, uh, go that's ahead. Pretty good. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, the reef shark should be able to find it. Of course, yeah. that's a lot of, a lot well, of ocean out there. Maybe you can do the Aquaman thing. Well, I thought about doing a seahorse thing and getting a uh, copious on my back. I, and then going to the deepest depth that you can reach. <laughs> why why I, I, water breathing on him and take him for a ride? Yeah, that sounds not dangerous at all. Uh, I'm going with the Incredible Mr. Limpet is more like what you should turn, transform into. You know, that is pretty good. Um, I kind of like that one. I like that one. You should turn into a motorcycle that can go underwater. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Bar Goo Campaign. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our crap or talk D&D. &D. Uh, the link's down there. Most importantly, if you want to join us on the talk show on Tuesdays or on a one-shot M Hobo Inc., either Gmail or Twitter, we will get you on there. Sorry about the uh, audio flummox early, uh, but we're glad you stuck around. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, go to oddfishgames.com because they're going to have a How to RPG with Your Cat session November the 8th, 3 p.m. Eastern. It's free. Just sign up. Uh, check out our Twitter for that. Folks, thanks for joining us. Uh, have a great rest of the weekend. Bye.